hello friends welcome to my youtube channel now you will discussing about the diagonal relationship what is diagonal relationship diagonal relationship is in periodic table second period elements shows similarities in properties with the element which located diagonal is third period it is also known as diagonal relationship the diagonal relationship is simply nothing but in periodic table second period elements he is similarities in properties with the elements which located diagonally in third period elements is also known as diagonal relationship the diagonal relationship is a this order this is the second period second period elements is a lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine these elements he is similarity to the diagonally located third period elements like this one sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur and chlorine these elements are diagonally diagonally like this this is diagonally first one is lithium magnesium is a diagonal relationship and beryllium and aluminium and barium boron and silicon and next one is carbon and phosphorus nitrogen and sulfur and oxygen and chlorine these are the diagonal relationship of the second and third period elements these are two the diagonal relationship is the causes of diagonal relationship is two important point one is polarizing power of cation the polarizing power of cation is simply nothing but two cases two Mm, two points one is polarizing power of cation is inverse directly proportional to the charge of the cation in second one polarizing power of cation is inversely proportional to the size therefore polarizing power is the polarizing power is charge of the cation by size of cation this is the polarizing power of cation therefore then second one is electron negativity of atom electron negativity atom is simply nothing but the electron negativity is inversely proportional to the atomic size therefore atomic size is increases electron negativity is decreases atomic size is decreases electron negativity is increases and next one is this is the graph uh, this is the graph representation this is briefly explanation first one is polarizing power of cation polarizing power of cation in periods in periods left to right in periods left to right the the cation size then in left to right the cation size is increases the polarizing power in the in left to right cation size is increases like this this is left to right cation size is decreases sorry cation size is decreases and charge of the cation is increases charge of the cation increases and cation of the size decreases charge of the cation increases cation size decreases therefore the polarizing power of power of cation is charge of the cation by size of the cation the charge of the cation is left to right is increases the size of the cation is left to right decreases the polarizing power is increases the polarizing power is increases in groups groups uh, top to bottom top to bottom the polarizing power of cation the polarizing power of cation like this the charge of the cation is also same but size is increases in top to bottom size is increases also sim also same same charge charge is same but different of the cation size therefore top to bottom size is increases top to bottom like this lithium sodium top to bottom size is increases but charge is same therefore the polarizing power is decreases the polarizing power is decreases 
the diagonal located elements like this this is the diagonal located elements this is first to second period and third period this is diagonal located elements is a approximately same polarizing power of cation this is also called as polarizing power of cation therefore these two elements have a similar and um, similar properties of the polarizing power of cation the polarizing power of cation is similar therefore these two are diagonal relationship like this lithium and magnesium and beryllium and aluminium and boron and silicon and carbon and phosphorus and sodium and sulfur and oxygen chlorine these are the diagonal relationship pairs these are diagonal relationship pair and another one is electron negativity of atom in electron negativity of atom in periods periods like this in periods left to right the atomic size is the atomic size is decreases in left to right atomic size is decreases the electron negativity increases therefore electron negativity is inversely proportional to the atomic size in left to right is atomic size is decreases electron negativity is increases and groups in top to bottom the atomic size is increases electron negativity is decreases the atomic size is increases electron negativity is decreases this is the this is the groups therefore the diagonal located elements like this these are the diagonal located elements is the electron negativity is approximately same the electron negativity is also approximately same these also called as electron negativity of atom these these and these these two are important for the diagonal relationship therefore the diagonal relationship is a then second period and third period these also called these all about the diagonal relationship pairs these two points are very important so this topic is um, very important for them so many competitive exams and like andhra university common entrance exam test if you want more videos please subscribe my channel thank you very much